Content briefs and outlines are a great way to ensure the content production workflow in your organization stays consistent and high quality. In this short video tutorial, we'll walk you through how to use the different tabs on the right hand side, the terms, the research, and the competitors to quickly think through your content outline and brief. Let's begin. First, I'm going to paste in a template of what a typical content brief or outline could look like. I've already gone in and filled out the top section with the different business goals that I'm looking to achieve that are relevant to my business. ClearScope is going to help you think through the different sections that you see at the bottom. We'll start with the reference resources. In the competitors tab, you'll notice all of the top ranking Google search results both on desktop and on mobile, and exactly how they're structuring their pieces of content. You can quickly look through some of the top ranking search results and get some suggestions for top ranking results that you want your writers to consider as they're working on their piece of content. This particular content result that states the top 95 content marketing ideas, I think would be a great place for the writer to start. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste this in because it looks like a fairly comprehensive resource. Subsections to include can come from what your competitors are doing and using this list as a brainstorming jump off point. You could also navigate to the terms and sort by heading presence. What heading presence allows you to do is to see which one of these terms are being used in competitive headings h1s through h6s. If you wanted some contextual example as to how social media was used, you can click on the examples to get some ideas, like this one, mining social media for ideas, and we could add this into the different sections we want our content outline to capture. Next, we'll navigate over to the research tab. The research tab comes with four different sections. Themes are a great way to consider additional high-level concepts that you want to include within your piece. ClearScope takes a look at the top 100 results, scanning their title tags, meta descriptions to arrive at these recommendations. Clicking on these, you can see specifically how other competitors have been using them within their piece of content, developing a content marketing strategy, improving them, so on and so forth. We can then say improve your content strategy as another section to consider. Questions come from Google's people also ask. We then populate some more questions using GPT-3, some cool natural language generation technology. These oftentimes make for really good suggestions to make sure that your writer is covering the subject matter comprehensively. The last section will be common citations, and these are going to be what we've seen other top ranking results link out to. This report on content marketing statistics likely talks about some interesting things surrounding content marketing, and we can call out a specific statistic that the report gives, maybe something like 27% of execs Execs care a lot about content marketing, and we can use this as a resource. The last section is going to be external links to common places that writers are performing additional research, like Quora, Wikipedia, and Reddit. You can click on these, see what kinds of discussions are happening, and use this to improve your content outline and brief.